school this year another session of your mathematics basics let's start learning how to factorize any polynomial so how can we factorize first rule multiply the numerical coefficient of x square and constant 6 into 5 how much 30 what is your first step multiply the corner numbers 6 into 5 that will be 30. With the signs you need to multiply. Plus into plus it will be plus only. So now for 30. Why did I do two lines like this? You need to find the factors. What are all the factors for 30 children? You don't know how to find factors. So I can say here. Uh, in 5 table I can see 30. 6 table I can see 30. 15 table or 30 table right. So now you need to write the pair of the factors. 5, 6, 30. 6, 5, 30 both are same. No need of writing double time. Next, 15, 2, 30. Then 30, 1, 30. So listen carefully here. What is our first step? Multiply the numbers and write a side. Then find all the factors for that value. Now, after writing the factors, right, when you are learning this polynomial factorization or how to factorize, you should check all the factors. Once you know this method properly, no need of writing all the factors. Only one pair you need to write directly. Okay? So now, so, see the factors here children. Either you may add or subtract, you should get the middle value. That is plus 17 you should get. So check it out. 5 plus 6, 11. Okay. 5 minus 6 minus 1 we won't get, right? So 15 plus 2 how much? 17. Yes, I am going to take the pair. This is the pair of factors which I need to solve in this problem. So now what are the factors here children? 15, 2, sir. 15 plus 2, 17. Again, I am repeating. If you multiply, you should get this value. If you add or subtract, you should get the middle value. Check it out. 15, 2, sir. 30. 15 plus 2, 17. All are having a positive value. No need of writing separate. Now, this value I need to write with this. 6x square plus 15x plus 2x plus 5. Okay? So now splitting is completed. Now take pairs and take common. So in these two, these two. In these two is there anything common? Yes, x. And still 6 and 15, what is common? 3 is common. So, 3x take out common here. 3, 2, sir, 6. 1x I have taken out. So, another x will be inside. 2x. Okay. So, here x already taken out. 3 table where you get 15 plus 5. Okay. This is the way we need to take common. Next, what is the sign you have? Plus. And in these two, anything you can take out common? Nothing. Nothing means you need to write here 1. 2x plus 5. Okay. Now you consider this and this. Is there anything common? Yes. 2x plus 5 is common. If 2x plus 5 is taken out, what is left here? 3x, right in brackets, plus 1. Okay. So this is the way we factorize children. Right? This is the way we split our equations. So, once again, listen this factorization problem. Once again, children, listen carefully. So, what am I doing here? First, this number and this number multiply. 6, 5, sir, 30. Now, for 30, what are all the factors? You write it down. Add or subtract the factors, you should get the middle value. Right? So, where you get that pair you take here. If you want, you can take plus 15 plus 2 also you can take. 
If you multiply these two, you should get this. If you add or subtract, you should get this one. Okay, after finding the pair, then what you need to do? You arrange the pair in between with this x. So, 17x can be split as 15x plus 2x. Now, in this two, take out common. In these two, take out common. Now, these two values, what is common you take out? Then, this is nothing but the method of factorizing a polynomial. Now, let's start our fourth main of this exercise, children. That is factorize. Let's start with your first problem. 12x square minus 7x plus 1. What is your first step here? Multiply these numbers. 12 into 1, it will be 12. Okay, say me all the factors for 12 here. 4, 3 is at 12. 4 plus 3, do you get 7? Yes, right? So, I will take here 4 and 3. But, observe here, minus 7 you have here. Minus 7, how can you get with 4, 3 children? Minus 4 minus 3 will become minus 7. So, by addition rules, children, addition and subtraction rules. If both are having same sign, take the sign and add. Do you remember this? So, according to this, I can say minus 4 minus 3 will be minus 7. Okay, I got the middle. Now, what about this one? When you multiply these two, you should get this. Are you getting? Minus 4 into minus 3. Minus into minus plus 4 3 is a 12. Yes, we are getting, right? So, now these two terms place here. 12x square minus 4x minus 3x x plus 1. Okay? In these two, take out common. What you can take common here? 4x I can take out common. 4 table, where you get 12? 4 3 is a 12. 1x already taken here common. So, x. 4x. So, if you remove 4x common here, what is left? Nothing. Nothing means it will be 1. Okay? Now, in these two, what is common? Nothing is common. So, take the sign what you have here minus 1. So, when you start keeping your bracket here, Minus when you are taking common children, plus sign will become minus which is inside the bracket. Right? Now automatically the value what you have in brackets will be same. Okay? These two are common in these two. So therefore, 3x minus 1 if we take out common, 4x minus 1 will be left. See here, uh, this is nothing but it is a factorization of a polynomial children. Suppose if this is the thing with the factorization with the quadratic equation, you equate with 0. Then you are going to get your x value. Let's see the second problem here. That is 2x square plus 7x plus 3. What is your first step? See the numbers multiply. 2 and 3. 2 into 3 will be 6. Right, find the factors for 6 here. 6 ones are 6. Okay, 2 3s are 6. If you add or subtract, you should get the middle value. What is the value you have here? 7. So, which factors pair I need to take? 6 ones are 6. That means 6 plus 1 will be 7. So, all will be having a positive sign. See children, if you want, you can take here x also. 6x plus 1x also you can take or only numbers also you can take. Anyway, you can take the factors like this. Now split this one. 2x square instead of 7x, split as 6x plus x plus 3. Okay? Now take a pair and in these two terms, you need to take a common. What you can take common here? It is 2x is common. If you remove 2, no number is there. If you remove 1x, 1x will be common. Then here, 1x is taken out common in 2 table where you get 6. 
2 3 is a 6 and again here nothing is common in these two so write here plus 1 into x plus 3 okay now in this and in this what is common x plus 3 is common take out if you take out x plus 3 common what you are left here 2x sine plus 1 okay this is your answer okay so let's move to the third problem here 6x squared plus 5x minus 6 observe the numbers here plus 6 minus 6 plus into minus minus 6 6 are 36 okay so if you add or subtract you should get your answer here in middle 5 so what are all the factors for 36 here 12 3 so 6 6 so. right so still any factors there mm. 2 18 so 9 4 so 36 see how many factors you can have for 36 so if you add or subtract you should get 5 12 minus 3 i won't get 5 6 minus 6 0 or 6 plus 6 will be 12 and 2 minus 18 will be minus 16 you are going to get so all this no look here 9 minus 4 it will be 5 right i will take a pair here so i won't take this all pairs I will take my plus 9 minus 4. What are the factors for minus 36? Plus 9 minus 4. If you multiply, you should get minus 36. Plus into minus. Minus 9 4 sa 36. Yes, this is the actual pair I need to take for factorization. So now 6x square. In middle, you place these two. Plus 9x minus 4x minus 6. Okay. In these two is there anything common? X is common and still 3 is common. 3, 2, sir. And if 1x is taken out common, 1x will be left. And here x is taken out common. So what is the value will be left? 3, 3, sir. That 3 write it inside the brackets. So, in these two, is there anything common? Yes. I will place the negative sign first. And in 4x and 6, only 2 is common. That makes 2x minus. Minus or plus here? Here you have a minus. When you are taking out minus common, the sign will be changed to plus. Again, if you remove that bracket, it will be minus 6 only. Now in these two, 2x plus 3 is common. Therefore, 2x plus 3. If you take out common, what is left? 3x minus 2. Okay, see the last problem here. That is 3x square minus x minus 4. See the number here, 3 and 4. Multiply 3, 4, so 12. And plus into minus, minus 12. Minus 12 take out factors in such a way you should get a minus 1. So, I will take the factors of 4, 3 is a 12. I should get minus 1. How can I get? If I take minus 4 plus 3, it will be minus 1. So, write it here. 3x squared minus 4x plus 3x. Minus 4. In these two, is there anything common? Yes, only x is common. That is 3x minus 4. So, here we need to write the x here. So, in these two, x is common, 3x minus 4. And in these two, again, 1 is common. Nothing common means 1. Therefore, now in these two, 3x minus 4 is common. You are left with x plus 1. Okay, this is the way we factorize a polynomial. Okay, children, is this followed? In our next session, we are going to continue with another mathematics basics. Thank you all.